gases are an ideal system to look at energy changes because gases change their energy in direct proportion to temperature changes. Remember, the energy change of a gas is 3 halves RT for one mole, 3 halves NRT for a given number of moles. But if the temperature changes, the energy changes. So an energy change always corresponds to a temperature change, so the gas is kind of transparent that way. It can't hide an energy change because the temperature always changes. So when work is done on a gas, that's an energy change and could be reflected in a temperature change. If heat is absorbed by a gas, that's an energy change, could be reflected in the temperature change. Now I say could be because I can absorb some heat, that'll raise my internal energy, but at the same time I could do some work and lower my internal energy. So I can mask the fact that I absorb the heat by doing work or do some work or do work on the system and let heat flow out at the same time. So I have to keep track of both the heat and the work to ma manage energy changes. Let's look at the work. If I do work for a gas, I push a cylinder up in a gas, I change the height of this cylinder. Work is just force times distance, or in this case, force times the height. For an ideal gas, we can write it as the external pressure times the change in volume pressure times change in volume with a negative sign. And the negative sign just says if the system expands, that's a positive delta V. Delta always means final minus initial. And if I expand, final's bigger than the initial, so that's a plus delta V. If I expand, the system is also doing the work. And that should take some of the system's energy to do that work. So this energy should go down, so a negative sign ensures energy goes down if I'm summing work and heat to get my energy. So the energy of the system, I'm going to track by its temperature. And when the volume changes for an expansion, positive delta V will mean work is negative, the system doing the work, or zero. The work could be zero because there could be zero external pressure. I could expand for free against a vacuum. If a gas is compressed, then I do work on the gas. Doing work on the gas means the work is positive. The energy of the system goes up if I do the work on the gas. I'm the surroundings, the system is the gas, I compress it, the energy of the system tends to go up, work is positive in those circumstances. So that's how work, the change in volume and external pressure are involved in calculating energy changes for gases.